Hey, what is going on, everybody? How are you all doing today? I hope you all are having a wonderful and fantastic day today. And if not, hopefully you all will have a better tomorrow. So today I actually wanted us to discuss where did the idea for dust actually come from? And I thought this would be a interesting little short discussion here to actually talk about because I found this one to be... Uh, very interesting. I thought you all might actually want to know where the idea for dust initially came from if you didn't already know where it came from. So let's go ahead and get this discussion started. Dust. The thing about it is dust is a source of energy and remnant. And looking at how the physical properties of dust, it makes it incredibly useful for a variety of purposes, which one big thing that we've seen dust used mostly for is actually used within weapons for hunters and huntresses, as well as anyone else that, you know, may not even be a hunter or huntress. Some people can just use dust kind of in the form of how Hazel did as well. And of course, the name dust itself is implied to be a reference uh, to its primordial state, which is what mankind is born from. And also not only that, but as a natural resource, it is sometimes poetically referred to as nature's wrath. Not only that, but dust is also used as an energy propellant. And dust has several uses for power source, which is the majority of technology and remnants, such as the airships as well as androids. And there are also alternative technologies that do exist, but it just shows you that even though there are alternative forms of technology that don't require dust, it shows you that dust is highly used and highly you know, capable of being just as well as other technology. Now you're probably wondering, what does all this explanation have to do with what dust is? Well, if you actually think about it, Monty Ohm himself compared dust to materia from the Final Fantasy series. And Monty even went on to state that originally all the dust in Myrtanaster was going to be red, but still had different effects. This was because he had felt that red went well with Weiss's design, as well as the fact that, design-wise, he was uncomfortable with having a character with a certain color palette walk around, you know, for example, with a rainbow on them. But he ended up putting all these feelings, you know, just to the side and deciding that it would be better for the audience if Dust was color-coded. And I think that actually makes sense, and I think that actually explains a lot of things a lot better. And the reason why I say that is because it would be confusing to look at one dust and say if they were all red, just, you know, give an example, and they all had different effects. This would be a bit confusing because then it's like they pull out one dust or they put it into their weapon, and you think, well, it's going to use this ability, and then it could be something else. Like, you could think, oh, fire's going to shoot out of it. And next thing you know, it could be lightning. And you'd be like, oh, well, I didn't see that coming. And... So, you know, thinking about it, this was actually a good note on Monty's side to actually change the color, I think. And not only that, but it actually helps us have a, you know, clue as to what element is actually being used, considering that red is for fire, and, you know, we have kind of the blue, which would be ice. You know, there, there are different variations and colors that depict different elements, which I think it's actually a good thing. I think it's a good thing that there's a different uh, color change that Monty went with the idea of having different colors because it just helps us, you know, be able to know what elements are actually being used. And I think that the idea of it being very similar to Materia makes sense because if you have played the Final Fantasy games, Materia actually had different effects. And this actually makes a lot of sense considering that, you know, the dust, if it all had one ability, then it would just be a predictable thing. And, you know, it would just kind of be bland looking if it was also one color. So I actually give props to that, props to the idea of it being different colors as well as showing off that the different colors represents different elements. I think that was very interesting. But anyways, so let me know what you think down below because I love hearing from each and every single last one of you. But anyways, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed it. And if you did enjoy, hit the video with a like. Subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And share this with your friends if you found this informative or useful. Well, anyways, I'm going to have a very interesting discussion coming at you all tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. And I hope you all have yourselves a wonderful and fantastic day. And take care of yourselves, everybody.